Hello everyone, so I am going to give my review on the Overflood Autark, which looks like a nice vehicle with the price of pretty much at $2 million. Customization on this vehicle. Well, you do get loads of options to be honest, even though overall, at least in some categories, they are similar from each other though, unfortunately. But still, at least there's loads of options, depending how specifically how you want it, with especially when you come to respray the vehicle, I think that's where it's going to make a big difference, to be honest, when changing the colours and all that. Overall, I think you get the important things you need to customise, and you do get loads of spoiler options, and they're all different from each other as well, so that's really good to see. So yeah, you do get the important things yet again to make the vehicle look good and maybe some extras depending where you're looking at though, but either way, it's got the best bits you like to customise and it can make it look a little bit different to stock, but not much to be honest. But either way, you can make it a little bit more sporty looking than you can on stock, that's for sure. Performance on this vehicle. Well, it is a nice vehicle to drive. You won't get uncomfortable driving this vehicle, I think you would have a good time with it as well. But it's not the most best performative vehicle really, for the price at least for it. It does offer good speeds, like the top speed it can go up to is 125.5 miles per hour. And acceleration could help and get up to there decently fast. And as well though, with the handling that could help sometimes depending what race courses you do. But they can come to good use sometimes, the handling, and it's not too bad whatsoever. You'll get comfortable with it, no problem. The brakes, well, they could be a little bit better, but they're not terrible. It'd be fine to use on free mode, but maybe on, on some race courses, it might not play the best. But at least for free mode use, I think it'd be just as fine. I think the vehicle is worth it if it's on offer or it's like a podium vehicle then I think that's worth your time to try and get. I don't think it's worth two million dollars worth. Sure it looks like a nice vehicle and you do get plenty of customization options but at least to the performance side it could be a little bit better to get the money's worth there. I think the top speed is fine it could be a bit more low. The acceleration I would prefer if it could do a little bit more better. At least for free mode use if you ever did get it you would have a good time of it. I don't think you'd be too disappointed but you'll feel like you're lacking some like performance power but I do appreciate the vehicle it's good though when you compare it to like the Wagner or something which people say that could be better for like other reasons that's how I look at it in my opinion so I hope this video helped in any way if it did make sure to give this video a like if you're new here maybe subscribe is up to you thank you for watching this video everyone